Halo, halo. Ah, sampai ya? Sudah sampai ya? Oke, oke. Sekarang saya turun, saya turun. Thank you very much to the delivery guy who safely delivered my parcel to me. Thank you to all the abang abang, kakak kakak, and adik adik delivery people who are still very committed to the job despite this COVID 19 situation. Thank you very much. A big thank you to Cisco for giving me this opportunity to play with their latest Wi Fi 6 AP and also for me to do a demo to guide my viewers on how to provision a Cisco Wi Fi 6 AP. I'm John Cole, the Senior Business Development Manager from Ingram Micro Malaysia. Today, I'll be sharing about the Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP that I have here. This is Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP model C9120AXI-K. It is a mid-range Wi-Fi 6 AP from Cisco with internal antenna as per the letter I in the model. Today, I also will be doing a demo on how to do day zero provisioning of the Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP through a mobile phone. Yes, you didn't hear me wrong. It's by using my mobile phone, which is an Android. Cisco has come from a long way on how to simplify their network so that the layman people like me with no technical background will also be able to provision their AP. All right, so from CLI to mobile apps. Amazing, right? Without further ado, let's go to the introduction of Cisco Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi, which stands for Wireless Fidelity or also known as Wireless Local Area Network, has come a long way since first introduced in 1991. Right now, Wi-Fi 6 or technically known as Wi-Fi 11AX is the latest Wi-Fi technology standard. For those of you who do not wish to go through all the terms in this slide, I can give you a conclusion that Wi-Fi 6 is Sipe Tokong, which means that it's very good in Hokkien language. Next, I will show you the Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP family. Cisco has 9105, 9115 and 9117 models for your small to medium sized deployments. For the mission critical deployments, we have 9120. And for those of you who only demand the best in class for your environment, we have 9130 for you. For the 9120 AP, which I have right now, it has 4x4 MIMO for both its 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, which can serve more clients and faster. It has physical layer data rate of 5.38 gigabits per second. It supports 2.5 multi gigabit Ethernet to fully utilize the Wi Fi 6 wireless bandwidth. And when we talk about this, some of you might, have, might be thinking that, aya, my network, my switches, do not have the multi gigabit feature. Will I be able to fully utilize the Wi Fi 6 AP features? All right, when you think about it, for every transformation of new technology, it does not happen overnight. It is a journey, right? So you can actually change your AP to Wi Fi 6 AP first. And then as the journey goes on, slowly you can change your switches. To have the multi gigabyte features as well so by doing so you will not burst your budget at one go right uh, then your boss will be very happy for you all right okay so next we will talk about e next let's talk a little bit more about ewc which is called embedded wireless controller for those of you who are not familiar with Enterprise Wireless LAN, let's talk a little bit more about this appliance called Wireless Controller. Imagine, you need to install and configure around 100 APs for a factory project. Are you able to install and configure each of the AP by yourself at each point? It will be very taxing, right? So this situation creates a need for a wireless controller or we often call it as WLC. With the WLC, you can do all the configuration and troubleshooting just with just that one appliance. Isn't it awesome? But the downside of the physical wireless controller is that you will need to purchase an additional appliance and the AP licenses. For small to medium sized deployment, this kind of setup will be very costly. That is why Cisco has created 
embedded wireless controller whereby the wireless controller feature is embedded into the AP itself. This will help your organization to save a lot of costs. For C1920 and above models, the EWC can support up to 100 access points and 2000 clients. For the lower end models such as 9115 and 9117, the EWC can support up to 50 access points and 1000 clients. So if your environment requires more than 100 access points and 2,000 clients, then you will need to invest in one physical wireless controller and AP licenses. For those of you who are buying Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP for home use, you can just ignore what I've just said earlier about EWC. All right, you can just forget it. But you need to take note that you will need to purchase the right model, which is the EWC model, so that you can provision it using the web browser or mobile app which I will show in my demo later. If you bought the wrong model, which is without the EWC, don't worry, you can actually still download the right for software from Cisco website and change the software just like what I've done for my AP here. There's another video on how to change the software in the description. You can click the link in the description and learn how to do it there. All right? So if you power up the AP, which does not have the EWC software, you will see that the indicator will flash green and orange colors repeatedly, all right? Because the AP is scanning the environment looking for the physical wireless controller. So when that happens, you will not be able to see the Cisco Air Provisioning SSID. Do take note. So let's go to the next slide to understand better. I will also show you the part number and the powering options. So as you can see, the model that you need to order for home use will be C9120AX, which is the Wi-Fi 6 technology, I for inter internal antenna, EWC, which means that it comes with embedded wireless controller, and K stands for the domain name, the domain, all right, that we can use for Wi-Fi, which is shares the same one with the Korea as well, okay? So, oh yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with the Cisco world, Cisco APs, do not come with powering options. Do not expect to find a power cable in the Cisco AP boxes. You either power it up with a PoE switch, power injector, or power cable. For the Wi-Fi 6 AP, there are no power cable options. If you are buying the power injector, you can choose between power injector 5 or power injector 6. If you have the budget, please go with Power Injector 6 to enable all the features in your Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP. If you insist on using the Power Injector 5, you will only be able to get 1 gigabit uplink. So you cannot utilize the 2.5 multi gigabit feature and you only get 1 times 1 or 2 times 2 spatial streams, which are not recommended at all since you are willing to pay the money for a Wi-Fi 6 AP. I hope I didn't bore you with too much information. Let's jump to the demo right now. I will be showing you how to do over the air provisioning for the Cisco 9120AXI-K that I have here. Everyone, I have to apologize that I cannot do screen recording on my Android phone due to some security policies that I believe have been imposed by my company. So I'll be using an iPhone instead, all right? So first of all, uh, power up your AP and make sure that it's running on the EWC software so that you can see the Cisco provisioning SSID. Next, uh, download the Cisco Catalyst wireless app from Google Play Store if you're using Android or Apple App Store if you're using an iOS. Okay, so I have downloaded the app, so let's open it up. All right, so next, click on continue and click on set up a Wi-Fi network. Since the Cisco AP is far away from my desk, so I'll be using manually connect to provisioning SSID. If the Cisco AP is next to your desk, you can actually use scan QR code option by scanning the QR code behind your Cisco Wi-Fi 6 AP and it will, direct, it will direct you to the SSID direct. Okay, so let's click on this. So we will click go to the settings. There you can see the Cisco Air Provisioning dash unique alphanumeric characters. So let's click on that. So the password for this SSID will be password in small case. 
Okay, let's join. Okay, after we have joined, let's go back and click set up again. And it will ask you whether you want to continue with Cisco Air Provision Dash, uh, the unique alphanumeric characters. For my case, it's D238. Let's continue. All right, so now we will use the default username and password, which is web UI. And the password is small character Cisco. Okay, let's go. Alright, so you can see that the country has been configured as Malaysia. Just now, as I was using the Android app, I can see that the country is Korea. And once I click in, there's an option to choose Malaysia. But even I choose Malaysia, it still shows Korea. But don't worry, because Korea and Malaysia, both of us share the same domain. So it is okay to use Korea. So let's uh, configure the username and password for the management account. Let's put admin, password, let's put so for those who are using at home make sure that your router has already have the DHCP server configured so that you can capture the IP address and then only you can proceed to configure this AP so let's deploy okay so let's deploy the network work from home Okay, so security, you can choose either personal or enterprise. So if you're using an enterprise, you need the AA server and the radius details. So let's just choose personal first. Okay, let's put the password. Okay, deploy. So that's it. The configuration has been done. Isn't it simple? So let's put the site as John. Okay. So go to home. All right, so once you go to home, you can see that the managed network, the details has already been up here. Okay, so use back the same details that you have set earlier. Log in to the app. Okay, so once you're in to the app, you will see the dashboard. So it has a summary of the LAN. Okay, the WLAN that you have here. How many access points that you have at one? So wireless clients and rope APs, the interferers. So I only have one AP, so it will be shown here only one. So it's on the active mode. So if you have another EW, another app, another AP that has been connected to, to this uh, EWC AP, it can be act as a standby. So that in case the active AP is down. Uh, this standby AP will be able to take over as the active AP to ensure that there's a continuity of services to your uh, access point and all the clients connected to it. All right, so you can see the clients connected, not yet. Okay, so since I have not connected to it yet, I can't see any uh, application data over here. All right, so if you want to add another wireless LAN, you can do so from here. So maybe we can choose uh, gas network. So you click this next gas. Okay, then you can just click add. And it's successfully added. So from here, you can actually configure your network as well. You can choose uh, what radios that you want them to use from here. Okay, and then you can also choose whether you want it to be up or down so you can click this whether you want to broadcast the address id or not you can choose from here so once you've done it then uh, the broadcast will be disabled okay hey, i haven't saved okay so it has been down and disabled okay so basically that's it so this really show to you that how simple it is for you to do the day zero provisioning and also to do some management of your APs through this mobile app. That's all. Thank you very much for watching and remember to click like for my video. See you. Thank you.